The next lesson here in our display series we will talk about is scale factor, um, which is really just a dream. Revit handle scale factor, so nice. So uh, let's open up a file. I'm going to go to my application pull down and say open. Go into my sample folders and let's try a, a Revit MEP advanced sample project. Looks good. Let's open this guy up. Now it just so happens this project uh, opens in a view, which is a kind of a 3D clipped view. Um, let's go to, let's just go down to our sheets. Okay, let's open up our sheets. Let's see what we have. Well, we have some sheets, some electrical power riser, unnamed sheet north, panel schedule, mechanical legend, duct sections. Okay, let's have a look at this sheet. Double click opens up the sheet. We'll see a title block, we'll see some views. Now, as drafting and design people, we understand what scale factor is. In order for a view to fit on a sheet, it has to be, you know, scaled accordingly. And what Revit does is it adjusts all the text and the bubbles and the dimensions and the annotative objects adjust when you change the scale of the view. So let's look at this particular detail um, that's in here. And it says, OK, this is a callout of a level one HVAC. WSHP unit. So let's say I think, you know what, I got, I have more room. I'm going to change the scale of this view. I'm going to pick on this view. And if, as long as there's not a view template controlling it down in here, which there's not, I can say, okay, you know what, this, I'm going to make this one to 20. Okay, it's going to get bigger and it's going to move. I'm going to drag it back down to there. I'm also wondering if it needs to be a higher level of detail. Watch. I'm going to double click inside this view. Now I'm inside the viewport. Okay. That view is, is shown down in here. It's one of these views. It's probably uh, this view. Uh, no, maybe it's this one. Um, we'll find out soon enough. So I can double click by going into this viewport to access it, or I can double click outside of here. Or I can actually just open up the view. No, oh, that's a different one. Double click, open up that view. There it is there. So now I'm actually in the view. So I can go to the view from the sheet or from within. I can click it on here or I can just go right inside here. Double click in here. I'm going to use my display setting and I'm going to say make this fine detail. All of a sudden you're going to see ducts and stuff change and pipes and etc. So um, the different cable tray, this is a plan view. So we've got some duct work, we've got some pipes and stuff. So notice the display by changing the detail level in here, it actually changes you know, from single line to um, medium and then fine detail. Okay, also the scale is going to have some impact on this view too. It's gonna to change it to be, you know, first of all, a lot smaller. If I change it to be one to 100, it's really small and if I, change it back to be my 1 to 20 and then double click out so there we have that so the scale factor of the view okay is what we're talking about let's look at this one it tells me it's at a scale of 1 to 50 well what i'm going to do i'm going to pick on this guy and say okay you are also at 1 to 20. so when you change the scale of the view it changes the size of it naturally okay and then maybe i can take this guy using my arrow key and my shift i can nudge that guy over Okay, do I, can I make room here? I'm just using my arrow keys to nudge this stuff over. Shift arrow key to do a big nudge. Okay. And then maybe take this guy and try to fit him down inside of here. Maybe take this guy, move him over. Take this guy, move him down here. Pick on here. Squish this down. So the scale factor inevitably is going to decide the size of the um, view on the sheet, as we know, and it also adjusts the size of the text, etc. So if we go to the views and we go to, for instance, a floor plan here, okay, and we zoom in on that, okay, we can tag and do different things inside of here. If we use annotation and we say tag by category, you know, and I'm going to say I don't want to attach my end. I want a free end. So I can start to, you know, tag some some items over here. 
Oh, I don't have a tag loaded for that. Do I have a door tag loaded? No, mechanical stuff. So however I want to do it, okay, as I add annotation, the scale here, which is also the same as this, if you change your scale here to be, say, 1 to 50, change the scale of the view and adjust the text accordingly. So when you print it, that all the text comes out the same size. Okay, that's what we want is for when we go to our sheets and we have our different views on here, the automatic scale factor that Revit does for us will adjust the size and the annotations, the tags and the grid bubbles and all that stuff for that. So there's no more worry of changing your scale. You can freely, or at least not carelessly, change your scale of the view, the annotations all update, and the view will also update on the sheet itself, right? If you change this to be a 1 to 200 view, okay, it's going to get significantly smaller. If I say, okay, change it to be a 1 to 50 view, okay, it's going to get a lot bigger, okay? So scale factor, you can pick on here and you can change it from inside of there, or you can open up the view and change it from there.